Future Grind is a bit different from how it looks at first glance. That first glance would tell you, oh, it's Trials, but on a weird Tron bike. But that doesn't quite do the game justice. For one, it's got a very different dynamic from Trials' obsession with physics-based uphill racing. Yeah, physics aren't really a thing in this game. Instead, it focuses on pure platforming fun, and that can be felt everywhere from the game's visuals, which definitely focus on function over form, to its gameplay, which features a scoring system almost entirely composed of different ways of interacting with the platforms you're bouncing between. Trials, this is not. But even if that's what you came for, you'll probably still find something to enjoy with Future Grind's platforming bike acrobatics. As always, I'm Alex, and this is First Five, where I ask if games are worth your time, not your money. I played a game for five hours, and I'm going to tell you if those were five hours well spent. And today, we're grinding for a holiday in Future Grind. Let's lay out the basics. You've got a fancy bike with two differently colored wheels and a track composed of neon lights corresponding to those wheels. You can only touch each rail on the course with a wheel of the corresponding color. If you touch a rail with the wrong wheel or you fall off the track, you're done. Start over. And your goal is to get as many points as you can as you jump, flip, and grind from platform to platform until you reach the finish line. So far, that's an interesting little core loop that gives you a lot to think about as you're blasting through each of Future Grind's courses. But the game also mixes it up with five different bikes you can use. From more mundane bikes like the Slice, to wilder experiments like the Subverse, which only gives you one wheel to use that reverses color every time you hit a track, each of these bikes have their subtle but distinct differences. The Subverse's unique playstyle is obvious, but there are also bikes like the Zero, which is all about stacking up your multiplier by hitting as many rails as possible and racking up transfers. A very specific trick for going from rail to rail without using your jump. And you'll be getting familiar with all five of them. Going into Future Grind, you shouldn't expect the bikes to be individual playstyles that you pick a favorite from. Instead, Future Grind has its one core loop of grinding rails with light-colored wheels, and each bike is a variation on that theme that the developers use to keep the game feeling fresh and bring more ideas to the table. Each bike, in fact, is associated with certain tracks. Instead of picking and choosing your favorite playstyle, every track in the game is designed for a specific bike. The monochrome slice that serves as your tutorial bike gains some depth and nuance when its later levels start dropping these color-swapping fields, requiring you to change your wheel's colors on the fly. And as mentioned already with the Zero, its courses are all designed to give you ample opportunities to abuse transfers. Each track also comes with a pair of assignments, special challenges that you have to execute on the track. Sometimes they're simple, like don't touch any white rails. Other times, they completely change the track by introducing new items that weren't there in their base versions or forcing you to only use one color the entire time. The assignments are cool, but I could see their implementation bothering a lot of people. Future Grind is a little stingy with the way it unlocks new stages, and you can only ever really play one at a time. When you first unlock a stage, you do a dry run to learn the level where your only objective is to reach the finish line. Doing that unlocks that stage's two assignments, both of which you usually have to complete before you can unlock the next level. I could definitely see how people would get annoyed over having to play the same level three times in a row, especially if they already met the conditions of a particular assignment on their first run. This didn't bother me too much, however, because the assignments are incredibly useful as a subtle, extended tutorial. They wordlessly mold your behavior from the very start of the game to get you into the right mindset to play it. For example, this assignment to not touch any white rails. White rails are safe to touch with any color wheel, but they break your multiplier, which hamstrings your score. And when getting a high score is half the point, that means you want to avoid them like the plague anyway. And the first few assignments clue you into this and other subtle ways you can manipulate the scoring system. You could slog your way through Future Grind while ignoring every single one of these lessons and still see the ending. But the assignments are extremely effective at teaching you the most fun way to play the game that the developers probably intended. So with all that in mind, what do you get out of five hours with Future Grind? That was just enough time for me to see the credits, though I still have a few secret levels to polish off. And thanks to how the different bikes are always getting swapped in and out, every level was something new and interesting. This is another one of those games that can give a thoroughly satisfying and unique experience in just a few hours. But if you decide to chase a spot on the leaderboards, it could give you a ton of replayability. 
Games like this are exactly what I try to highlight on this channel. That said, Future Grind does have some minor faults worth mentioning. Its corporate espionage story is a nothing narrative with a James Bond level of campy villain, on a few occasions the fixed camera angle starts moving to disastrous results, and these damn jump orbs are driving me insane! But these minor faults do very little to tarnish Future Grind's fantastic and entertaining core loop. Milkbag Games made a good one. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this first 5 review. If you did, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. If you're looking for games that value your time and don't pad themselves, I'm your guy. And be sure to check out some of my other reviews or some longer form content while you're here. But regardless, thanks for watching this far, and I'll see you all next week.